Hi, it's Dr. Moshe Lewis, and I'm here for another episode of Music and Medicine, and I'm lucky to be joined by Ms. Taylor, who's from Spectrum. And um, we just wanted to learn a little bit about how you got into journalism and how you got your start, because I know you're always asking a lot of other people questions. We have questions for you. It's so true. It's so true. Well, it's been six years now as a wow. reporter. Okay. It's funny, Dr. Lewis, I wanted to do this right. since I was seven years old. I can believe it. It's, it's a funny story. It uh -huh. was... September 11th, okay. and I remember I was seven years old at the time. Right, wow. I was watching the news with my mom, not understanding the magnitude of what of was course. happening because I was so young, but right. I remember her watching the news and she was crying, and I was emulating the anchor, right. copying exactly what she was saying. Right. Ever since then, right. it was written like I, you know, I never had those like times when I switched majors. Sure. I knew right. in high school I did newspaper in your book, and right. then. In college, I uh, majored in broadcast journalism, so it's, you know, it's been something, I call it a God thing, because yeah. it's been something I've always known I wanted to do. Yeah, well, that's a word we've heard a lot today. Tell us a little bit about the journey, because I think for so many of our young people, I see you as a role model that can inspire them to think about a career like this, yeah. where many times they don't know the person kind of behind the scenes that right. they may want to emulate, but they don't know the process. What did you go through? What was it like? I think um, just having a bit of determination and resilience is really important, especially in a field that's saturated like this one right. where everybody wants to do the same thing. Exactly. You have to have your patience and you have to really like be a hard worker. Right. Um, I moved a lot and that's kind of the nature of the business yeah. too, is going from here to Eureka, California, right. which is right. dang near Oregon, exactly right. middle of nowhere, uh, Chico, and then I went to Florida. So, you know, right. earning your stripes and really just Doing the jobs that nobody really wants to do sure. in order to get to the place that you want to be. Because it does pay off, right. but you have to have that patience and you have to have that um, drive and that, most importantly, like believing in yourself right. and knowing that you can do this as long as it you, you stay at the course. Sure. What are some of your topics that you really love or the ideas that you love to follow the most in terms of stories? Uh, I love anything that really makes an impact. Okay. So I'm always looking for the people who have stories that can really translate and inspire others who can like you know I talked to Jasmine earlier today um, an actress and I, I asked her like what do you want little girls who are looking up to you to say to think to hear you know because I feel like that's really um, the power that we have in media is to be able to be a role model and Honestly, I feel like everybody can really be that role model. And, right. and if you have the platform to put these people up there, their stories are what translate. Right. So I'm really, I guess, to answer your question, I'm really looking for people who are inspiring and who can really, like, teach others through their own experiences. Sure. Because that's really all we're doing is learning and healing exactly. in many different ways, right? And sure. trying to grow. Along our life journey, people run into various roadblocks and challenges. What words of encouragement would you say, maybe even from your own life, that you give to someone else, just if they too are having a trouble or a challenge, be it with a class, be it with a job, be it with a, an assignment that's far away? I think um, really just seeing the big picture, because every time... You know, life gets hard, right. and, and and that's about the only thing that's guaranteed is that it will be up and down, and that you will have, it, in, the, in the pursuit of your dreams, you will run into things that are going to be roadblocks. Yeah. Knowing that those are going to come and, and learning how to be still, find yourself in your true center, and, and navigate, you know, to the best of your ability, I would say that's probably been the thing that really has helped me most. Um, learning how to find things that I love to do, going to the beach. Right. If I'm overwhelmed, right. you know, bringing my laptop to the to the water, <laughs> literally, right. yes. Or, or not bringing the laptop. Right. Like, right. you know, just taking that time for you right. and making that a priority as much as it is hardworking and, you know, as much as you, you do whatever you would need to do for other people, right. doing it for yourself too. Absolutely. A shameless plug, where can we find you and tell us more about the network you're working with? Yeah. So Spectrum News is 
the best network I've worked for. And I've worked for a lot of local news stations, but Spectrum is very big on telling community stories, that, that impact that I was talking about. So um, SpectrumNews1.com is where all of our stuff, all of our um, stories are posted online. If you have Spectrum Cable, it's Channel 1. Plays 24 7. Exactly. Yeah, you can't hit, literally that turn else. your TV on, it's on. Exactly. <laughs> and then my Instagram's uh, just at Taylor Torgano. Sure. Well, you've heard it here um, a true inspirational person who really is trying to encourage other people to not be afraid to pursue their challenges, even though there may be ups and downs and you may have to go to Eureka. But that's okay. It's still in the state of California. And more importantly, that it's really important to take some time for yourself and realize that we can heal from within and not hold ourselves to such a high bar that we don't take a moment to love ourselves and to relax a little bit at the beach without the laptop. Thanks so much, Taylor. Thank it's you. It's always a pleasure. Such Thank a pleasure. You. Okay.